begin by plugging the firewall in and turning the firewall on. Let the firewall run through its power on self test or post and confirm that it passes its internal memory test. With the firewall confirmed to be working, it's now time to remove the case. Remove the five screws, one, two, three, four, five, on each side of the firewall case. Then remove the remaining two on the rear and slide the case off. With the case removed, locate the compact flash card. Remove the compact flash card and prepare to flash FreeDOS onto it. Now we need to flash our FreeDOS image to the compact flash card removed from the firewall. Begin by clicking the Win32 Disk Imager binary to open Win32 Disk Imager here. Go ahead and fill in um, where your FreeDOS um, image is located. In my case it is C drive slash Win32 Disk Imager and this stuff slash FreeDOS BIOS 2.IMG. Then confirm that the device on the right is your compact flash card. In my case, this is E drive. If um, the device is incorrect, change it. And if it's still not correct, restart Win32 Disk Imager. Anything that is on your compact flash card or on the device on the right is going to be overwritten. Go ahead and click right once you've confirmed everything is OK. To confirm that you are going to um, write to the physical device. Go ahead and click yes to continue, and now it's going to write. Shouldn't take very long, and you should get a nice success screen that pops up right here. And then click OK, and now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the compact flash card into our firewall and boot into FreeDOS. Plug in your null modem cable, can fire up PuTTY, configure it to the correct COM port, and use the default settings, which are 9600 baud, 8 data bits, one stop bit and no parity bit. Um, the firewall will boot up, you should hear three beeps, and then you should get terminal output on PuTTY as seen in the video. Once in FreeDOS, type in BIOS, B-I-O-S, I-D, and then press return. Compare your output to the screenshot on your screen and make sure everything matches. I haven't seen a case where it doesn't, and assuming everything is okay, we're going to go ahead and back up the BIOS to the CF card by typing AWD flash space forward slash PN space forward slash SY space backup.bin space forward slash e and press in return. Um, it's going to take a little while and then you're going to come out with that output on your um, flash card itself. You can name the backup anything you want and that's the part that's dot bin. After that's completed, go ahead and flash the new BIOS to your um, watch guard firewall by typing in awd flash space x750 eb7 dot bin space forward slash py space forward slash sn space forward slash cc space forward slash e it's going to take a while to run and do not turn the firewall off when it's actually flashing or else you're probably going to break the uh, firewall and after it's done you can go ahead and reboot now we need to boot into the bios and change a few settings so that uh, the firewall can read larger CF cards. To do this, we need to change a few settings in PuTTY. So first, of course, we need serial. And then we're going to go down to the serial connection settings, and we're going to change this 9600 to 115 200. And then we're going to open a new connection, and this will allow us to get into the BIOS by pressing the tab key as the firewall is booting up.
The rest is easy. Flash PF Sense to your new, larger, and faster CF card. Install the CF card inside of the firewall and go ahead and boot it up. That's it, and now you are ready to go ahead and configure PF Sense.